Hi, I'm Dave Epstein. This is Growing Wisdom. We're here today at New England Wildflower Society, Framingham, Mass, Garden in the Woods, and we're with Scott LaFleur. And Scott, you're the botanical director, right? Correct. And we were just standing in front of that great Carolina roadie. This time of year, trilliums are in bloom. Absolutely. And trilliums are just revered here at Garden in the Woods. We have about 12 different species of them. People that love the woodland shade garden really love to have these plants in the garden. Why are they so special? Trilliums take patience. You just have to slow down with them. The seeds can take almost two years to germinate, and after they germinate, it takes about seven years to actually get a flower off a trillium plant. Why is it so long? It is so long because trilliums are spring ephemerals, meaning they come up real early in the season, take advantage of the high light levels in the forest without any leaves on the trees. And they try to absorb as much energy as they can, store it into their rhizome, and then go away for the rest of the summer. So it takes a long time to build up the reserves of energy in the rhizome in order to get them to produce a flower. Will the leaves disappear eventually during the heat of the summer? Absolutely, yep. So the whole thing spends much of its life underground. Absolutely. It's just a short, short time of enjoying them before they're gone again. Of the 12 types you have here, how many would you find just in New England in the wild? Two of the most abundant would be the Trillium grandiflorum and the Trillium erectum. Now, do you have a favorite one of all of these? Is there one that you particularly love yourself? I, I love the Trillium grandiflorum. Now, if I want one of these in my own garden and I'm walking through the woods, I, I know you're not supposed to do this. The temptation may be to dig it up. Why not? The reason is when you're digging them up out of the ground, you're starting to alter the ecosystem. Now, there's a couple things to look for if you're going to head out into the nursery to try to buy some trilliums. And that would be nursery propagated versus nursery grown plant. Grown means they went out into the wild, dug it up, put it in a pot, and grew it at the nursery. You want to look for nursery propagated plants because plants that have been propagated have been started by seed, and seed collection is not as detrimental as actually digging up the implant itself. The other thing is price. It takes a lot more money to get a trillium growing. So a cheap trillium is another red flag for probably dug from the wild. And then bare root. Anyone who's propagating trilliums are not going to give them to you bare root. So bare root trilliums are definitely taken from the wild. Well, Scott, this is absolutely fascinating. I love all the different types here. And, you know, I, I think I'm with you. I think that that grandiflorum? Grandiflorum. Is probably my favorite as well. Very, very showy. Thanks a lot. Have a great Absolutely. season here at New England Wildflower Society, and we hope you come back every week for all of our tips at Growing Wisdom.